I'm going to show some of the safes that I have restored uh, past and present. Uh, this is a carry safe from a gentleman from Wisconsin and he brought this safe to me a year ago. Uh, really nice carry safe, double door. Um, it's got nice interior to it. I'm going to close the door here. Close that one. And you know what? Open that just up for a second. And I'm going to show, look at this ribbed original copper and black plating that they did back then. Just amazing what they did back in the days. Okay, go ahead and close. And I saved, managed to save all the original lettering on it. The pinstriping was, I saved the corners, which I don't know if you can tell that or not, but had to re pinstripe the rest of it, but the corners are original. But the carry safe, I saved that, did all the body work around that, and managed to save all that, so that's really cool. Uh, this one says Buffalo on it. And on this one, we managed to put, I'm not going to show it, but uh, their names and when they got married last year, so that's kind of cool. So. The safes, as you can see, are pretty shiny. They weren't that shiny back in the day, but with the technology that I'm using today, I mean, from the time I sandblast these safes, I start from scratch with epoxy primer, and then do all the bodywork repair, and then, you know, do all the work, and then paint the portrait, and finish, uh, finish the safe up. So this is a carry safe, double door, and it's about 50 inches tall. Uh, we're going to go over here to this little hall safe, which is really a neat little safe, very uh, original. Uh, the inside, which is just absolutely, you couldn't even see this, it was so bad. If I can get, bring that light over here for me just for a second. Um, it's, it's like it's painted like cherry wood. If I can get to the right glare, it's like it's kind of hard to turn that just a little bit. But it's just amazing the craftsmanship that they did back then. I mean, it looks like real wood, but it is painted wood. So I saved all this, cleared over it. It's got little flowers painted there. Saved the designs, but uh, the work is... Yeah, turn it that way. There you go. It just we deal with a lot of glare with these kind of cameras, but but the wood the wood finish looks so real. And this was a a later hauls. This is about eighteen ninety. Uh, the carry safe is about eighteen ninety. We're going to go over here to this little Mossler. Uh, this is a real nice jewel. It's a small Mossler. It's about three foot tall. Uh, this is about 1885. Uh, it did still have an original portrait that was really blemished and damaged, but I managed to save it, enhance it, and, and clear over it. Uh, really, really neat. And this one here is 1850s. This is, uh, this is before they invented the technology to make a wheel, a, the combination, you know, the, the dial. So this, this took a key, a big round, like well, about three-eighths of an inch key, to open the safe. And it's... Mid 1850s, because uh, about 1860, they came out with Hall, of course, designed a combination which just does not have the wheel on it, but they did not have a dial ring. It just had a mark for the dial. So this safe is about 1860s. 
as you can see, and they were big on concrete because concrete was the fire insulator to keep these things protected from fires because back then everything was heated with wood and coal. But you can see the, the patent dates, 1860 to 1863. So it was about that time when they invented the combination wheel. Uh, so this, this is a, a very early safe. This actually came out of the Indianapolis Union Station, and it's really uh, historic. Uh, we'll go to a couple others here. This is an early hall, um, small safe. Uh, you can see another hall in the background there. This is a Victor safe that their patent was no handle. It was handle and dial in one. And this is late 1880s, pretty neat. And then this safe is about a 9,000 pound safe. Uh, it was originally silver and brought like a copper color. Uh, very, very ornate. This was a very special ordered safe. I'm gonna I'll show you the inside of it because all this design work that I did here, which I painted all this stuff, on here, uh, the inside, you'll see, is original and how dingy it is, but yet it is very, very authentic. As you can see, all the pinstriping designs in here with a portrait with a railroad coming at you. So uh, the outer panels were missing, so I had to just kind of ad lib and make these look authentic and original to match the inside so I painted a locomotive on that side this one's just got a cabin but silver at that period of time I kind of rubbed through you can see where the silver was they varnished everything back in that day that was their clear and varnish ambers as you can see on that portrait, how ambered the varnish was. And when it ambers, it looks like this. And there's a picture of what the design looked like. And of course, what it looks like now. This is one that's finished for a customer. He found the safe. It's a little Alpine. Same thing, no, no handle, just a dial. Uh, very early. This is in the 1880s. Uh, really nice little safe. It was in a horrible condition, but not now. This one has got some magic to it. This gentleman brought this to me from southern Indiana, uh, and it still had the receipt in it. It was almost solid rust. They put it in a barn. Uh, the gentleman, uh, it's a family farm that's been there for a long time. His great grandfather bought this brand new and for the most part I copied it it's probably 90 percent authentic to what it looked like original it was extremely ornate and that is all original I did not touch that and inside is all completely original the safe was neat, but he had the receipt from when his great-grandfather bought it new with the envelope from Diebold, which was amazing, and it was dated about 1880, so that means the safe was probably manufactured in the 1870s. This safe came from South Carolina. This is a Mossler Bauman, so this is late 1870s, right at 1880. I managed to save the original portrait, but all this design work, I even manufactured the decals to copy them exact with the seashells on there. Um, this safe is about uh, pretty close to five foot tall. It was maroon on the inside. All this was traced exact with what it looked like originally. And I managed to save the flowers on the inside and two of the designs. That design is original. That one I've reproduced because it was gone. But the flowers are, it was actually a decal. It was not painted. It was actually a, a decal that they varnished over back then. 
so pretty cool. But but uh, the artwork they did back then was just amazing. So uh, you know, duplicating this stuff is is pretty neat. This is another early hall, 1880. Very nice, very ornate. This is a Mossler, very neat double door Mossler safe. I'm going to open this up because it's all silver on the inside. The portrait on the inside is all original. The panel, which I've got it removed right now because of the lock, but um, this is in the 1880s. Like I said, the portrait I touched up was all original, but this is so cool on the inside. It has a little chest on the inside that makes it extremely rare, very heavy. And of course, it opens up and it's got all, I had it all re nickeled and refinished uh, and put all back together, and it works, opens, and closes. and very 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 nice you know duplicating this stuff is uh, it's a lot of work it's a pain but when it's finished uh, preserving a piece of history that this stuff has been around for years uh, this is my big masterpiece here this is about a 9,000 pound Mossler uh, all this work this is in the 95 96 percent original uh, the flowers were painted like that on the side. I mean, all this stuff I traced to be exact. The portrait, all I could see was water and mountains, so I managed just to paint a nice, kind of a cool old portrait of a watermill. Um, but all this stuff I traced, and I mean, it is 97, 98% exact. It had flowers painted underneath it just like that. Uh, it was in horrible shape, but all this work is copied from the original so I mean it's that that's 99% exact too much glare on that one we'll go to the bottom one down here I, I did a little design and put my name on it so it's got Billy J on there when I restored it kinda neat but uh, it's amazing when you see these safes you know, I can copy this stuff, but but to think back originally when they did these, the craftsman that was involved from one person that painted the portraits to the other ones that painted it to doing the design work. And they did these by the hundreds of thousands. It was just amazing how many they did. So, But I've got... I, you know, all the photographs of what it looked like before. And I always put my name in the corner. But all these designs are copied. Pretty much exact. This safe is a 1940 safe that I made to look antique. The one in the background here, that's a very old hall, uh, 18, probably 70, early um, 1870s. You can see the where and how, but but look at the ornateness of the artwork. Uh, there's there's a lot of wear on this safe. Someday I will restore that, but right now it sits here just looking like an old safe. Anyway, that concludes my display. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, I got to add one more thing to this, so I'm back with you. Uh, the big safe that I just showed you, uh, the 9,000 pound one, this is one of the inner panels. Uh, this thing literally had layers of paint over the top of it, but you can see the paint that I go through is lightly sand, 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 and 
try to find any kind of remnant so I can copy. So this is what I do. It's like that's the corner design. I've got enough there that I can copy that. The pinstriping that runs down the side. Um, you can see. And then up here it's got Mossler Safe and Lock Company. And then a very large portrait. This thing is about 25 or 26 wide and probably close to 5 foot tall. Uh, down here, I'm gonna, have, you know, I can't tell what the pinstriping was. It had the dealer name down here, like who sold it. Uh, the portrait, which is really bad, but what's cool is it's got a waterfall here, water, mountains, and then there is a cabin that is right there. And then off to the side, here's mountains uh, right here, uh, sky. And then there would have been trees and everything over here with the water through here. So I will copy that as close as I can. And then that goes on the inner door of that big Mossler with the flowers on it. So this safe with another one that was very uh, special ordered. Have no history where it came from. But uh, once again, it's, it's cool to see you know, the layers that I go through to find anything that's original on these things, because that's what that's the magic stuff. Trying to duplicate what was done 100, 130, 140 years ago. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. Everybody take care. Bye.